G'day guys, welcome back. Oh, it's a scary Sunday afternoon. The thunder's just starting. It's getting all dark outside, dark and gloomy. Alrighty, we're in for a storm, so let's get this done. I have told you before, I get a lot of color inspiration from uh, colorpalettes.com and I printed this out for you guys. This is the uh, group challenge for uh, my Facebook group, um, Pouring Your Heart Out with Julie. So we have got navy, purple, lime, teal or turquoise, magenta and pink. So I've added, I've used those and I've added my white mix with the satin enamel and I've also added my gold extreme sheen. So I'm going to do another jiggle pour, but with these colours. So if you want to join in, there's no winners or losers. There's just, you just do it for fun and to challenge yourself. So um, you are all welcome to join the uh, our Facebook group page. Just don't join as a business, just join as yourself, please. And then we can all take part, eh? So that's this fortnight's challenge. And um, I am using Floetrol, as I always do when I do these sorts of pours. Um, and then when I do my flip cup pours, I use my glue and water. So the white is one part Artist Loft white to about a quarter of the satin enamels. And then that is mixed one part white to one part Floetrol. And my colours are all Liquitex Basics and they mix two parts Floetrol to one part paint. So this pale one here, I'll get my little colour swatch out again. That's medium magenta and then we have just normal magenta or acra magenta that's a darker one and then this one is turquoise blue we have got uh, light green permanent I guess I could have mixed a little bit of yellow into it to make it more of a lime but I'm in a hurry so I didn't a uh, dioxazine purple is my choice for the purple there so feel free to use whatever shade you want as long as you've got those colors there and then my navy is the phthalo blue with a blob of black the extreme sheen gold i always have to mix that up so i used half a bottle which is 30 grams and i only put 15 grams of flow troll with it so two parts paint to one part flow troll uh, i have to thicken it up otherwise i just lose it all it just disperses and mixes in with all the other colors and i lose them so, uh, let's do a little bit of a white covering here. Just a little bit. I hope I don't spill my paints. I'm just going to quickly, quickly cover my surface so that when I do pour my puddle down, it just flows nicely hey you guys know that just helps it slide because just sliding on a dry canvas isn't quite as easy and then your your rings that you've created kind of um, fold over themselves and you lose them so it's it is a good idea to put down a little base coat first for this particular style i don't do it with my flip cups because i use such a lot of paint anyway and because I'm dragging down the whole canvas, I don't need it to float on other paint. Let's get this done real quick. Can you guys hear the thunder? I don't know if you can. Did you hear that? Rumble, rumble. Oh, look where, where I am on the Sunshine Coast. <clears throat> Excuse me. The storms tend to just <clears throat> bypass us. You know, we get a little bit of lightning, a bit of thunder little bit of rain but it just sort of all passes by us and goes north so which is what happened yesterday oh we got hail yesterday 35 degrees celsius and we got hail <clears throat> hail excuse me i'm still getting over my fluey thing all right you just sit there for a minute paint <clears throat> now i'm not going to put these in this order um i thought i'd go navy first and then I'm going to do a little bit of white. I'm going to put a bit of puddle down first though. So let's do a puddle. I don't need too much white. My last one I did, I put too much white in it and 
regretted it. Okay, so that, and then I'm gonna do turquoise, um, we'll do some lime, there's some gold. Something like this. I, I will add other colours in between, but that, that's a rough idea just to get me started. Okay, and I've made up double the amount of navy as I have to my other colours, just because I want lots of navy in it. These are all relatively light, except that one. But I do want a nice pop of blue, and I want blue in the bottom. So that's going to go, that'll be my middle. Uh, might have to have some more hay. Always, always need a, a blue middle. <laughs> okay, and then a little bit of white. Not too much. Took over last time. Turquoise. I think I'll do this because that'll look nice with the turquoise, won't it? And then we'll go with some gold. Now I've only got a little bit of gold. I only want two layers of gold and two layers of white. So half my gold in there. So I guess the gold and the white were about half the amount that I'm pouring into to my colors. And then I'm gonna do the light pink. And then the, I'm gonna do some navy next. And a little bit of white. And then I'll put this magenta on. And what do I reckon magenta and gold would be like? Let's do a little bit of gold in there. Actually, I might have enough for three little layers. Let's do that because that might look pretty. And let's change them up a little bit. Some lime next to the purple a little bit more white all right finish you off white okay i didn't really have a, a theory i know i just knew i wanted to start with the blue. Um, okay, navy, and then we'll finish off the gold. So that little half a bottle of gold's given me three layers. This is a big layer, though. I hope that will be all right. Then what will we have? Oh, we haven't had some pink for a while. Let's go with the pink. Some purple. Some more lime. More navy. I probably made up too much paint because I've got extra colours now, you see. So I just did 50 grams of pouring medium and 25 grams of paint but in reality I probably only needed 40 and 20 um, because I don't need a lot of paint but um how many colors have I got one two three four five six and then the gold and the white so I've got eight colors I'll just keep that little bit of navy so yeah, eight colours, I, I probably didn't need 50 and 25, but I didn't work it out. I just sort of went, oh, I'll just make this up. It doesn't matter if I don't use it all. It's hard to make up a small amount of paint, I think. All righty, <clears throat> let's do this. These are really unusual colours together, so hmm, could go either way, couldn't it? It could work, it could just be awful have no idea. I'm really out of my comfort zone here with these colours. Because uh, normally, you know, you know me, I do blues and turquoises. So I've got that in there, but added pinks and purples. All right, here we go. Okay. 
And again, I'm doing my little jiggle because I like the fingerlings. Do need to try and get a little bit closer though, so that the fingerlings don't wobble. So the paint's coming out in a big sheet. Oh, look at that gold. Big sheet, and I'm just folding it over itself. Here comes the lime. And the turquoise. Oh, there's the white. I love seeing them come out of the cup. There's my navy. Yay, navy centre. Not a lot of white to speak of, which is good. Didn't want too much. If you saw my last video, you'll see that my white really took over. That was pretty fast, wasn't it? I tried to pull slower, but then the paint kind of wiggles. It comes down and sort of does this, whereas I wanted to do this beautiful fold. So I do find that I have to kind of pour it faster. Okay, oh, that's um very interesting, isn't it? All right, let's give it a bit of a torch. Pop some bubbles. Pop bubbles. Come on. Yeah, gotcha. I'm not popping all of them. I don't want to get too close in case I burn the paint, so there's probably some still not popped. All right, so we can see a little bit of lime here, which is lovely. Some lime there, which will probably get tipped off. And we've got some pink like little boulders happening in the center there and then we've got our usual white cloud effects from the white satin enamels. Mm-hmm. All right. Actually there's, oh, there's so many bubbles in this. Oh, see now I'm burning the paint. Should just leave it. Got too close there. Okay. Um, now I still don't know whether going round in a big circle once is better or going off to each corner is better. Sometimes when I go off to each corner, I end up with like a square of gold. I did that last time. Let's, let's do a big circle and just see what happens, hey? I used to do the big circles. Let's do it again. We're just going to go around and kiss the edges. Get the paint moving. So I do it pretty fast because I keep the momentum of the paint going. And we'll go straight over there. And this is where we then come back to the middle. So we can change direction. Because I really don't like it when I get that big square look, you know? Oh, look at that gold shimmering. Can you guys see that gold? I don't know if you can. I'm going to lose that lime over that corner, aren't I? Back to the middle. I'll turn it around so you can see me going for that last corner. Back to the middle. Well, I don't know which way I just came from. <laughs> it's a problem with turning it around. I mean, which way was I going? I can't remember which corner I just did. Wow. That's so pretty. I think it goes that way with the navy at the top. So it's upside down for me, but it should be right for you. What do you think? Kind of like a snail. <laughs> oh dear. Now, do I like that pink down the bottom there or will I get rid of some of that pink? Just a bit. Too much. Just a little bit of the blue, really. Isn't that 
funny how like I'm looking at this here this half of my jiggle has got lime in it and this half of the jiggle has got turquoise in it it's just bizarre the way it comes out now I'm just wondering if I should take some more off the bottom there let me wipe my drippy hands and I'm going to climb up the ladder and have a look because I'm just not sure actually no I guess I should leave it because that that pink down there is is a feature on its own isn't it it's like a little stacked rock wall no I, I should leave it because if I take that off I want to lose these beautiful fingerlings here and I'll take you down and show you because they are gorgeous they've got gold then they've got magenta and then they've got the pale pink on the very tips it's really really pretty and look at my blacks and not my black my navy center Woohoo! <laughs> yay I finally got a navy center it's pretty with the lime isn't it Give it a bit of a torch. Hopefully we'll get some little things popping up in the navy there. Little cells or pearls or whatever, hopefully, if I torch them. so nice for me to do something that's not just blue hey all right let me do my corners real quick how's that one can't see pretty good they're pretty good a little bit of thunder so it's moving away i don't think it's even going to hit me i don't think we're going to get a storm at all it seems to have moved on does that it, it misses us that needs purple have I got some purple not much not much purple at all there's a little bit all right that'll do that'll do ya as they say will do okay oh look at that lime oh, I just love it let me get my grubby gloves off take you down for close up you've got to see these fingerlings that I was telling you about so it looks like to me it looks like some kind of weird snail creature <laughs> you know with its like what are those things called near its mouth that's its mouth. <laughs> I don't know. Oh dear. I'm just being stupid now and then. But that's what it looks like. What are those things called? That snails and, and crustaceans have near their mouths. Those little feathery, eatery things. You now that they eat with? Or they push food in with? I don't know. That's what they look like. Okay, let's have a look here. Oops, that's gone a bit right there check out those fingerlings like three colors there's lime in the middle and then there's the ducks in purple and it's got the pink on the very ends so that's that side and then you look over here at these ones and they've got the gold and then they've got the dioxazine purple and then they got the little tips on the ends of the pale pink really really pretty happy with that one oops can't get the color right I keep moving away and it's bringing in more light so there's that lovely navy blue there look at those fingerlings pink with the turquoise pink and turquoise are always pretty together aren't they and then there look at those ones Oh, there's just so much to look at. And over here in the corner, we've got these like points. I wonder if it'll help if I turn that light off. Oops, I'm on autofocus still. Turn it off. That's better, isn't it? It's better light? Yeah, that's better. Wow, look at it. 
And then I got these pink. See, I don't, I'm not a fan of this stuff down the bottom here that the, um, the metallics do. But you can't get rid of them, otherwise you lose these gorgeous fingerlings. So, so I'll just have to deal with them. They're okay. Now, let's see. Oh, look. Can you pick up that gold? Look at that gold. When it dries, it's just going to be amazing. Pink and the turquoise there. Little points into the gold. And then all well, the corners are nice. They're the dark purple. Oh, can you see that gold shine? Look at that. Look at that gold shimmering. I just picked it up there as I walked around the corner. Oh my gosh, look at the gold. It's going to be so pretty when it's dry. And we've got some cloud effects happening here. I don't have my white too thin because I don't like it taking over too much. I just like it having a little bit of the cloud effect. Ah, oh, look at these. Look at these pinks with the gold shimmering. So my gold has kind of blended all together there, but you still can see the separation in the fingerlings of the gold. Whereas if I mix my gold any thinner, you just don't see those, the different colors in the gold. It just all blends together and you just don't see it. So there's a good show there, a shot there. You can see how on the left, I've got the lime and on the right, I've got the turquoise. It's just bizarre, isn't it? <laughs> all right, that's enough from me. I think you've seen it all. And we're back to this corner up here. So yeah, love this one. Pretty colors. So have a go at these colors. Uh, yeah, as I said earlier, feel free to join my Facebook group. Make sure it's the one that says pouring your heart out with Julie Cups because there is another one that's copied my name. Mm. Anyway, <clears throat> so join my one <laughs> and um, show me your paws and we can chat there. And I'd uh, love to see you all there. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the videos, you know, all that thing. Oh, before I go, I have to do a really big shout out to Andrea Everhart. Hi, Andrea. She's such a sweetheart. Every month she sends me a huge donation. She's such a sweetheart. I feel really bad. <laughs> I'd love to send you a painting, Andrea. I would. So anyway, oh, she's going to make me cry now. <laughs> so lovely. All right. Thanks, everybody. Love you all to bits. I'll see you all really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.